During our fifth grade homeschool year, my daughter did Singapore Dimensions 5, and we added Beast Academy 3 as a review. So this was our spiral that we utilized with Dimensions. So let's find out what we thought about Beast Academy. Beast Academy has a physical component, which we got, and it also has a one line component, which we did not get. Now I'll tell you right up front from the start, if I was using this as my main curriculum for math, I would make sure I purchased the online portion. There are times where I definitely think that online portion would have been extremely valuable to us if we were using this as our main curriculum. Now, since we used it as our spiral and our review, it was not nearly as imperative as if we were using it for our spine. Beast Academy 3 is separated into four separate guidebooks. So these would be considered your lesson books. And then with each lesson book, there is a practice book. So this is what you work in every day. I also purchased the puzzle book, and we'll get to this later because we didn't use it very much. Beast Academy 3A covers shapes, skip counting, and perimeter area. And then we can move and show that 3B is multiplication, perfect squares, and the distributive property. 3C, variables, division, and measurement, and then 3D, fractions, estimation, and area. For each chapter, what you will find is a comic book style, graphic novel style explanation of the concept that you are learning. So for example, this is Skip Counting. The different beasts have very unique personalities and then you will get to know them throughout the stories, but you will learn about skip counting, for example, in this one. And then throughout, they will ask you times to try it or what do you think, things like that. And then you will have practice pages. And so your practice pages are in, in the practice manual that is associated with the guidebook. The exercises that are included in the manual go from very easy to extremely challenging. And so you can see with the different stars, it will tell you whether these are challenge problems or not. The jump from the guidebook to the practice book is really where I think that online component should be very helpful. If there are practice problems that are really difficult, then that online component will be able to help you with understanding the each individual problem. Now on the back of these practice books, you will find hints for selected problems and then also there are solutions included. I had heard that in 3A it starts out with shapes and it is very difficult and you should probably wait and use it and towards the end. I thought, oh, we're using this for review. I will be fine. Shapes was difficult. I do think it would be a good idea to not start with shapes if you are starting Beast Academy at 3A because it is difficult. And so just wanting to enjoy math, wanting to enjoy the concepts, I would recommend skipping 3A, skipping those shapes and coming back to them later because it is a pretty intensive section, especially to start with. So let's talk about the puzzles. The puzzle book is an additional purchase from Beast Academy. You can see that they are separated according to various concepts. Now it shows that these do go along with some of the chapters. So for example, if you're using chapter one from this guide, which is shapes, then you can do angle mazes and connect the critters. Chapter two is skip counting paths, which you can see chapter two is skip counting. So there are puzzles that are included for a number of the different chapters, but not all of them. So once you get into chapter six, eight, nine, 11, you can see that there are no puzzles that are included. Here are connect the critters. Once you finish these puzzles, there are answers at the end. So here are the strategies that they are planning on you utilizing. And then they do have the color coded for in the back. This is the hot pink and it shows the solutions. There are quite a few puzzles in here that vary in concept based on what you will be studying in the, the different guides. Again, I do like that they include the strategies in here as well as the solutions so that if you are stuck on the strategies, they have those to be helpful as well. 
Remember where I said that I would have skipped shapes and going to something else to begin with and then come back for shapes later? Well, I should have done that because what happened was we got into these puzzles and the beginning puzzles were a little bit more difficult than what I had anticipated because I had sold this as being a fun math curriculum. When we got to these puzzles, they were pretty intense. And so she basically asked if we could not use the puzzle book anymore. And so I agreed to it because this was not our spine. This was not our core math. This was supposed to be fun. And it was. It was fun. We enjoyed it. It did a great job of reinforcing those concepts of making math fun and of just having a great time with math and reading the stories. It was a lot of fun, but I should have skipped the shapes first. I think that we would have utilized this puzzles book more if I had done that. And so I'm keeping the puzzles book for us to use this year as something that will be fun um, and a little challenging and a little review all at the same time. I just have to talk her into it again. I love Beast Academy. If I was using it as a spine as my only math curriculum, I would absolutely 100% check out the online component. I think it would be extremely beneficial. If you are not utilizing it as your primary math and you're using it as a review like we did, it would be fine to do without the video component. Um, I think the video component does add a little bit more flash, a little bit more fun that we just didn't have. But again, that was not my purpose. My other tip would be make sure you don't start with the shapes in 3A. Start with something else and then come back to those shapes once your child has gotten a little bit more comfortable with Beast Academy because the shapes are a little bit overwhelming. I hope that you have a great day. Bye-bye.